Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Supernova Fandom! And I am your host, Colton Roberts, the creative director of Supernova Network. And today, we're going to talk about some WWE Money in the Bank, which I'm sure you're aware of if you saw the title of this video. I thought the show was great. The show was really, really good. For the first WWE pay-per-view, really back with uh, fans and stuff, it was a good time. Um, so, if I was going to talk about how good the pay-per-view was... I would say it was probably a good four out of five stars. It's really good. Like, all the matches, great. First match was the pre-show match. It was Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio defending their SmackDown Tag Team Championships against Jimmy and Jay Uso. And guess what? The Bloodline won the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. It was a great opener. Um... Uh, it was really, it was quite a good match. Um, the tag team dynamics were great. The little story elements, like uh, Jimmy taking the six one nine for Jay, uh, I liked because you know Jimmy has been like not super uh, into the entire bloodline storyline, and then uh, that shows right there he's willing to take it for uh his brother which i like and i can't wait to see where this goes and then of course jimmy rolling up uh ray for the pin and then jay giving him leverage for the pin so they could get the three count that was really good uh that was the only uh map that was on the pre-show uh and then we started off the regular show with the money in the bank ladder match for the women's uh, division. And uh, the competitors were Alexa Bliss, Asuka, Liv Morgan, Naomi, uh, Natalia, Nikki Ash, Tamina, and Selena Vega. Um, the match was really good. I liked how uh, all of the, the women, uh, they know something's going on with Alexa Bliss. Like, she's trouble. So we got to... Um, we got to cover her up with ladders. They covered up with four or five ladders so that she couldn't get out. Poor little lady. Uh, definitely wasn't able to get out of there. And then the finish comes, and it's the three, the other six, Oscar, uh, Liv Morgan, Naomi, Natalia, Tamina, and Zelina Vega are all on three separate ladders. And then you see Nikki Ash run up the middle one, bypass all of them, and grab the briefcase. And that's good. Um, so there's a briefcase on Raw, which I think is interesting. And I can't wait to see where it goes with how the rest of the show went today. Um, the next match was AJ Styles and Omos uh, defending their titles against the Viking Raiders. Um I thought this tag team match was good. Uh, I don't think it was as good as the first tag team match, um, the Usos versus the Mysterios, but it was good. Uh, and it didn't rely so much on AJ. Like Omos, he he was in there. You can tell like he's getting better. And uh, yeah, like it was good. Uh, Omos hit the uh, the choke bomb. Uh, and he's he got the pin. Um, yep. The next match is, was Bobby Lashley defending his uh, WWE Championship against Kofi Kingston, and um, again, like good match. Uh, exactly what Bobby Lashley needed to do was go out there and just destroy Kofi. Uh, Leaving no doubt that he is the one that uh, 
is definitely the champion. Um, going out there and uh, making Kofi tap out to the Hurt Lock, that was good. I, uh, I like my, you know, strong heel champions to be strong heel champions. Unlike, like, other heel champions where they uh, have to get, like, help all the time. Um, yeah, like, this, uh, this is good. He, he's the dominant champion. Um, but yeah. All right, so the next match after that was Rhea Ripley defending against Charlotte Flair. This was a good match. There were so many good spots in this match. Um, like, it, it's one of the better women's matches I've seen in a while. Um, yeah, like, they they definitely can go. I, I want to see them again at SummerSlam. That would be good. Uh, and, of course, like, uh, Charlotte won, and... I know a lot of people were expecting Becky Lynch on this show. And I like that she came out and she tweeted. She kind of tweeted at it, so I kind of expected that she wasn't going to be in the on the show. So I wasn't super bummed out about that, that um, she wasn't. But when Charlotte won the match, uh, I was expecting Nikki Ash to come down or do something, but um, they didn't. They just had um, the end of the match. Uh, Rhea got her foot caught in the uh, – or from her knee down, I guess, uh, in the, the stairs on the side next to the commentators thing. Um, Charlotte put, them, put, put it in there, and – Kicked it three times, which weakened her knee. And then uh Yeah, which weakened her knee, and then Charlotte put her in the figure eight and Rhea Ripley tapped out. I'm happy about that. Uh I'm a huge Charlotte Flair fan. I think she's the best women's wrestler to ever do it. I don't think there's anyone better than Charlotte. Uh, in the entire world, in the history of the entire world, there is no one better at wrestling than Charlotte Flair. And when it comes to the women's division, um, yeah, like it was good. I was, uh, I was very, very, very impressed um, with the match. Um, I'm sure they'll probably go again at SummerSlam. I would assume, unless. Becky shows up on Raw, which I don't know why they would have Becky on Raw, because now that Seth and her are married, they normally keep couples together, but right now they're not doing that with uh, Jay and or uh, with Jimmy and Naomi. So maybe uh, they won't. And if she shows up on Raw, that would be a good good match for SummerSlam, uh, Charlotte versus Becky Lynch. I would love to see that. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, the penultimate match was the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. This one, dear Lord, this was the best ladder match I've seen in a long time. At least a few years. Probably 2018, probably. Uh, Drew McIntyre versus Big E versus John Morrison versus Kevin Owens versus King Nakamura. Uh, versus Ricochet, versus Riddle, and then versus Seth Rollins. This was a good match. Um, man, Ricochet is the king of the ladder match. Like, I wanted him to win so bad, but the person who did win, I was very satisfied with that. And, uh, yeah, like, I was, I was happy that, uh, they won, um, all things considered, uh, B Biggie won the match. Um, but yeah, like everyone was going through, and like Ricochet did every flip 
and stuff imaginable. And as like midway through the match, as John Morrison and Seth Rollins were the only heels in the match, they teamed up against the uh, uh, the other six, and I really liked that. Uh, they were just they wiped them all out. And then, of course, like the normal heel thing that happened, Seth Rollins turned on uh, John Morrison. So that happens. Uh, you can never really – two evil people can never really stay aligned for that much – for that long. But, um, yeah, like Kevin Owens went through a ladder. Uh, all in all, it was, it was a good time. I wish – like somewhere deep down inside me, I wish Riddle had won. Because I think that would have played into his story with Randy Orton. But once uh, a Raw superstar won the female women's money in the bank, uh, I knew someone from SmackDown was. And there was no one better than Big E. Like, I don't know what's going to happen in the draft. So he could get drafted to Raw and Nikki could get drafted to SmackDown. Um, so I could switch it up. But I I hope not. Um that would be no good. Um, like having Big E eventually cashing in on Roman, um, and if and him win, that would be a great payoff to this entire thing. Like Big E is the next, like he should be world champion, and whether that means him going to Raw and cashing in on Bobby Lashley. He needs to be world champion, and uh, I like that he's away from the New Day right now, so I'm I'm cool with it. Uh, and then our last match of the evening was Roman Reigns defending his championship against Edge. Um, this was a solid match. Um, the match was really, really good. Um, like, they, they really go well together, and then... Uh, like, Roman is the typical heel. Like, the referee got knocked out. So, uh, he went to go get the little bar from the chair. He was like, I'm going to use this against him. And Edge is the face. Turned it on him and used it on him. And he was about to pass out. And then uh, Seth Rollins. He uh, interfered and kicked Edge in the back of the head. And I thought, oh, that's going to be the end. Right there. That's how Roman's going to win the match. But um, that didn't happen. Uh, they got a new ref out there, and Edge speared Roman. And Roman kicked out of the pin, which I thought was really interesting. And then as they're going, uh, Edge looks like he's about to hit another spear. And Seth Rollins runs up and gets on the apron. So uh, Edge goes and kicks him off, and Roman hits a spear on Edge, and he pins Edge. So he retains the championship. And then uh, Rollins and Edge start fighting. They fight out of the arena, and uh, Roman says, Acknowledge me. And uh, referring that he's beaten everyone. He's beating everyone. And then John Cena returns. And uh, he comes down. Biggest pop of the night. Biggest pop I've heard in professional wrestling in a long time. Um, yeah, John Cena's back. He goes down there. He does his usual stuff. He does the you can't see me in Roman's face. And then the the video fades out. I will say, like, I, I praise the show, but I still cannot praise Peacock for what they're doing. For about, I would say, 15 minutes, the stream was really choppy. Um, pretty much all of the, uh, the entrances for the men's Money in the Bank, you couldn't see anything. Luckily enough, they fixed it by the time the match started, so I'm not really going to complain too much. But this was the best wrestling show I've seen in a while. Um, yeah. But, yeah, um, I hope you like these kind of videos. Every month when a WWE pay-per-view comes out, I'll try and do a, uh, a fandom on Monday. 
uh, Monday morning whenever we, whenever I finish. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and always remember, hashtag Aragon Remake. But uh, if you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter is at Colton Roberts eight. Um, just go over there, give me a follow. Um, I'll start tweeting about the show and stuff. So that'd be good. Um, but yeah, thanks. And if there's anything out there that you guys want me to talk about, um, if the fans want me to, I will totally start watching. In AEW again. I'm kind of burnt out on that. I'm kind of burnt out on Impact. I don't really watch Raw. I watch NXT and SmackDown mostly. But if you fans out there want me to watch those promotions, I will totally go out there and watch them. Um, but yeah, if you have any other kind of videos you guys want uh, on the Supernova fandom page for the channel, Send, send me a comment. I'll totally rock that out. But yeah, thank you so much for uh, watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Catch you out. And this is Supernova Fandom.